Hi guys, it's Misty with How Creative Creations. I'm here today with a birthday balloon stick pony. First we press out the fabric and make sure there's no wrinkles so we get a good shape. And then we're going to trace out our pattern. And this is like fifth, fourth or fifth incarnation of this pattern. Then I am going to trim the excess off and mark the eye on the other side of the fabric. And then we're going to go over and hoop and start stitching and bordering the eyes. I chose to do a bright blue eye because there's nice blue balloons in this fabric. This embroidery pattern has come from Chilly Night on Etsy. And it came in a four pack of woodland animal creatures. And I just I like the new pattern. It's quicker and easier. Quicker, mainly. It's cute. Um, time is money. Mm -hmm. There also aren't a whole lot of uh, excess stitches. So, we change over to the black thread next. And these are definitely kawaii style eyes. And if you hear him in the background, I have a very upset kitty. It's being in the big middle of everything and loud about it. And so we put him in a room and he's not happy to be in a room. Mm. On the side here, you can see my inventory. Um... I keep inventory the old-fashioned way. For a lot of years I did it on the computer but I have found this is actually the easier way and I'm more apt to keep it up. <clears throat> so. With the stick pony, this would be a perfect gift for a birthday, for a birthday party. I have cut out for two more. It could be for a birthday party for other people. And I've seen themed birthday parties where the host gives things like stick ponies out. Okay, now we're moving on to the other side, eye. And I would say right out of left eye, but really it's confusing for me in this format. I can tell you once I sew it all together. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies have got me going lately. My sinus allergies start, my sinuses acting up, my sinuses start draining, my throat gets raw, and I start coughing. It seems like a never-ending cycle. So... Mm. 
You know, I absolutely love making these things and creatures on a stick. Cause he, them. Um, he calls them that. He started doing that at a craft show because I don't just make things. I make unicorns and dragons and rhinos and elephants and chickens. and I made a shark. Um, I made a llama, deer, reindeer, deers, horses. So Ethan calls it calls them creatures on a stick. Okay, so after I stitch the eyes, I match everything up, and then I cut them out around the draw line. And then I use that little scrap piece from under the chin. And this is what I use to cut the ears. Sometimes I use contrasting fabric for the ears. Sometimes it's just the fabric. But I do strive very much to use as much of fabric as I can. I don't like the waste. And like when I'm cutting it out, you see me set a chunk aside. I usually use that for scrunchies and quilts and coffee cozies, uh, clothes for uh, the felt paper dolls. I use every bit of fabric I possibly can. I have a whole tote of nothing but small scraps. I do that because it's the most sustainable way. The most cost efficient way, the most sustainable way, the most ecologically responsible way. So here I am pinning the ears like usual. But you see some of the chunks of fabric I have left. Can you imagine if I just threw those away? That would in live in the landfill for a while until it breaks down. And that's a lot of what's in our landfill is fabric. Um, you'll also see me at times using shirts. Um, in my shop there's a stick pony that is a plaid, a blue and green plaid. It's made out of a shirt from the lady down the street gave me a shirt and said I want you to make a stick pony out of it for somebody. So I did. Um, You'll see denim stick ponies, and that is always made out of jeans from my daughter, my sons, my husband. Occasionally me, um, but I have jeans that I've been wearing for 10 plus years, and they were hand-me-downs before that. So, um, I tend to wear the ever-living snot out of clothes. My husband goes through jeans the most often. Also, um, his work vest. Here you see me adding in yellow hair because I thought it brought the whole party primary look. Background's red. The eyes are blue. The hair's yellow. Um, my husband has work safety vests. We've all seen them at different jobs where they're bright neon green with a reflective. I've made dragons and I've made ponies out of that. Um, I really do believe in recycling and reusing. I live very much a homestead style life even though I don't fully homestead at the moment because I live in the city. I do grow a garden. I do have chickens. Um, limited on how much I can have, but I do have them, and I buy what produce I can that I don't grow myself. I, I try to buy a majority of it at farmer's market from the local farmers, and then I do recycle and reuse as absolutely as much as I possibly can. Like sour cream containers. Our fridge is that old joke. Um, I went looking for butter and grandma's fridge. 
and it took me seven minutes to find the butter. Our house at sour cream. I buy stick butter, real butter. Um, so that comes in wax paper and boxes. Um, but I do buy sour cream, and so I don't go buy Tupperware or Rubbermaid or whatever. I use those. It is cost efficient and it is more ecologically friendly for the earth. Um, when I have a whole chicken or pork, pork butt, whatever, I save bones in the freezer until I have enough to make bone broth, and then I can that. Um, I do things like that. You see my video on the apples. I do use apples and and everything that way. Uh, by the time you see this, you're probably gonna see how I save lemon lemon rinds. And what I do with them. So I do tend to reuse everything. And my business, I continue that principle with it for clothing. For my fabric acquisitions, I do buy fabric from time to time. I also get fabric given to me because they know I will use it and use it well. And then I use it to make children happy. So, also like my dowel rods that I'm sticking in here, I source those from a place out of Fort Worth. It is a small business. Um, so, I order from them. It actually ends up being a little cheaper than if I go to Atwoods and buy the sticks, which is the cheapest in-person place to buy. Here I am putting the needle. And this stick pony is dead. Isn't it cute? Wouldn't it be great for somebody's birthday? How fun that would be as a birthday gift. You give them the gift of imagination. The gift of play. Those colors really do turn out really well together, don't they? Well, if you've enjoyed what you've seen,